Back here on Under the Lights, 8-1 Enterprise wrapping up its best season since 2014 when it went 11-1. The Hornets facing crosstown foe Foothill. Fans in for a treat as these are two high-powered offenses and both teams are fired up for this matchup. Enterprise trying to get going first. Quarterback Demarie Lewis Cooper finds Jahari Johnson, but a nice tackle by Jake Peters of Foothill shuts that down. Later, Lewis Cooper again feeling some pressure. He scrambles to the right but fires a dart to Holden Matthews. He catches it right in the end zone. The Hornets go up 7-0 after the made extra point. Foothill's time to answer now. Quarterback Davis Smith throws it to a wide open Brent Doyle. He takes it another 15 plus yards before eventually getting tripped up. Then Smith hands it off to Caden Williford. It looks like he's going down, but psych! He stays on his feet and celebrates it in the end zone. That's a tie game, but Foothill squashes Enterprise on senior night 42-21, an upset of the top team in all of Division II. Over to undefeated U Prep, the Panthers taking on last and just one game away from a perfect 10-0 season. We start you off in the third quarter of the game, U Prep with a massive lead. And they'll look to extend it here, but there's just nowhere to go. A nice read from the safety, Rashawn Bussey. And you can see the defense finally starting to wake up tonight. Another nice stop in the backfield. And Lawson looking for a spark on offense now. They'll hand it off to the big fella, James Lynn, running through a few defenders. He'll take all 235 pounds of himself into the end zone to finally get his team on the board. The PAT is good, making this a 38-7 game. But that'll be the final score of this one. A perfect 10-0 regular season for the Panthers and a top seed in Division IV. Well, it's time now for our roundtable pizza delivery of the week. And this one goes to Orland, the QB Grant Foster. We showed you him earlier. He airs it out deep to the senior Walker Burks, who makes a nice grab before taking it into the end zone. There was nobody even close to catching him wide open. A beautiful 45-yard connection. Well, that's all the time that we have on Under the Lights. Be sure to vote for Play of the Week starting at midnight tonight. It goes through next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And we'll see you next week for the start of the playoffs. That's right. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.